friends, welcome to part 32 of the Revelation Prophecy. I'm Jack. I'd like to call this one the first four plagues. Let's begin in the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways. Pour out the virus of the wrath of God upon the earth. The temple, the church of God, the great voice out of the temple, the Lord's voice, commanding his servants, signified by the seven angels, to execute the wrath of God upon the wicked in the seven last plagues. Revelation chapter 16 verse 2 And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. A noisome and grievous sore, a very painful sore, the first plague specially mentioned to be targeted on those who receive the mark of the beast and worship his image. According to the most solemn warning given in Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, let me read it. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, the fullness of God's wrath, unmixed, undiluted, without mercy. And he shall be tormented with a fine brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. Verse 11, And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receive the mark of his name. No rest in the outpouring of the seven last plagues torment the fullness of God's wrath upon the wicked. The beast, the beast with seven heads and ten horns, we are identified to be a European empire, controlled by the church of Satan, signified by a woman called the great whore or the great prostitute. The mark, a microchip implant in the hand or in the forehead without which one will not be able to buy or sell. This is the test that come upon the whole world and this is the warning given to those who will decide to take the mark, worship the beast and its image. They will drink of the wrath of God. And the first plagues upon those who have the mark of the beast and worship his image, very painful source, someone like the plague that came upon Egypt, the sixth plague brought about Moses on the Egyptians, book of Exodus, chapter 9, verse 8. And the Lord said unto Moses and unto Aaron, Take to you handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it towards the heaven in the sight of Pharaoh. Verse 9, And it shall become small dust in all the land of Egypt, and shall be a boil, breaking forth with blains upon men. Blains are swellings, inflammatory swellings, and upon beasts throughout all the land of Egypt. And they took ashes of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses sprinkled it up towards heaven, and it became a boil, breaking forth with blains upon men and upon beasts. Verse 11. And the magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Egyptians. The boils were very painful. Sores. This is the first plague upon the wicked. 
Revelation chapter 16 verse 3 And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. The blood of a dead man is very poisonous. It will kill every living creature in the sea. It will wipe out the huge food reserves that are in the sea. The second plague. Revelation chapter 16 verse 4. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. All drinking water become blood, someone like the first plague that Moses and Aaron brought upon the Egyptians and Pharaoh. Exodus chapter 7, verse 20. And Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded, and he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river, in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants, and all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Verse 21, And the fish that was in the river died, and the river stank, and the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river, and there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. The third plague, rivers and fountains of waters becoming blood. Verse 5, and I heard the angel of the waters saying, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art worse and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. They account the Lord righteous for judging, for turning the water to blood. And the angel of the waters is the group of servants that will have the power to turn the water to blood, the instruments of God's wrath. And the reason why he's righteous, verse 6, For they have shared the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. In the outpouring of the first plague, those who worship the image of the beast and receive the mark were specially mentioned to be the target. And now the target is the one who has shed the blood of the saints and prophets, none other than the church of Satan, signified by the woman called the great whore, sitting on a European empire, a beast with seven heads, ten horns. Revelation chapter 17, verse 6, this is what John wrote. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus, when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration, that is, with great amazement. The Church of Satan, specially mentioned to be the target of the third plague. Then in verse 7, Revelation 16, And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, True and righteous are thy judgments. In the opening of the fifth seal, we saw the revelation of the martyrs. They were shown to be under the altar. Let's read about it. Revelation chapter 6. Verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. The martyrs, the altar place of sacrifice, they have made the ultimate sacrifice. They were slain for the word, for the testimony. And notice what they were heard to cry out. Verse 10, and they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord? Holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? When, when, Lord, will you punish those who have killed us? When will you avenge? When will you judge? And the answer is, in the time of the plagues. And in the third plague, they are heard to say from out of the altar, 
Verse 7, Revelation 16, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. Then in verse 8, Revelation 16, And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. This angel, the fourth plague, this instrument of wrath who have power over the sun to cause it to burn hotter and to scorch the skin of men. Verse 9, And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which had power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory, just like Pharaoh, whose heart only got harder and harder. The wicked here will be the same. They will not repent to give God the glory. They will speak evil 